Hi, it's me again. I'm doing a little bit better. I've got music on, but I still haven't gone and gotten in the shower, but I'm feeling a little more positive. Um, I um, got a chance before this stupid thing died again to find out about this divorce that's going on, and I cannot believe it. Isn't it amazing? June 2012. That's right when I disappeared. Actually, um, I had disappeared before that. That's when they hooked up because I heard what was going on, stumbling down the red carpet, going to his own movies alone. I could hear what was going on, and I'm like, oh my God, because I already knew about the split. He had told me two years before it ever was announced, and he told me two weeks before the paper came out. The magazine. The Gossip Rag. As a matter of fact, I wanted to do a video on Gossip Rags. But anyways. He um, showed me the cover and everything. And um, no, so I've got music again. Yeah, rocking on tunes. This asshole. You know, like. Whatever. I just want to get there. Anyway. <laughs> Eighty. Ooh, look shiny. <laughs> um, duh. I am. I've been so stressed out. I've been really, really worried about Johnny Depp. But I think my video. I can't post it on Facebook right now because it's stupid. But I sent him a nasty letter. But you know what? Like a year or so ago. When I had my computer before it was stolen, I had saved like all the crap I've been through over the years because of their idi stupid idiots. They were going to suspend my account for like two days for something that was not my fault, and it was a bad time. I was pissed. So I sent them an email with like 48 attachments. You know what? I had my account back within an hour. So. I sent them a letter just um, stating that someone kind of put me in a position that I happen to notice because I pay attention that I should perhaps start a group and post some things. So as a favor to a friend, I went ahead and I did that. I caught the hint and uh, I let it be known that um, the situation. And that they better please have this cleared up ASAP. I couldn't throw the celebrity badge and stuff around because I'm using a different identity for a particular reason right now because of my mother and shit like that. But and other things. But um, I may have to use that other identity to post things. So. get rid of all the assholes that I was trying to get away from, but I've got other ones too, but I mean, my real name, you know exactly that it was me, but I have a cousin named Lara, I have friends named Roberto, I have a Kathleen, I have a, I think, I have to see how many passwords and all that I can find too because I may even have some sort of like back in the day the old Karen Depp and shit like that I don't know I don't know you know back in the day I'm <laughs> back in the day I say that a lot by the way that's like my catchphrase but um what's what's my point I had a point I did. I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm just, I'm feeling positive. You know what? It's time to pick a tarot card. I don't know how you feel about this, but they work. They always have. You need to go to Google Plus. I think they're already there because to me, I don't know, the Bravada something is following me on one of my many Google. He's got me all fucking screwed up because and shit. Let's see what I got. The King of Cups. Let's see what the King of Cups says. <laughs> I did some earlier on 
the stupid phone over there and I can't post them probably right now, but let's see. They were right on dead on balls accurate too. Let's see. He's a man at the top of his game. Tough, but an excellent manager and a devoted husband and friend. Could suggest agricultural pursuits or stock market holdings. Who's that? Okay, hold on a minute. There's like three decks in here too. The Queen of Wands. I didn't get that. I could swear I got that this morning. I have to go back and check the video, but I thought I got that card this morning. Maybe it was the Queen of Pentacles. It was the Queen. I was the Queen. <laughs> That's kind of weird too. The King and the Queen. I am royal. Big time royal. <laughs> Big time. But they're odd. Let's see. Um, the queen drinks deeply from the cup of life. Her emotions and sexuality are intense. She relies on intuition before intellect. <laughs> My gosh. Right on the money. Okay, let's. See. I get this every day. Every day. It's about insurance. I think on this house or, or something, but every day I get that card. Every stinking day. Every freaking time. Every day. I'm not kidding. Day after day after day. And it'll be that way until something changes. And like, like I had a friend that I wanted to stay with me before something really bad happened. And I was reading the cards and all that. And I said, no, no, if you leave, something bad's going to happen. And sure as shit, as soon as he left. The cards changed and something horrible happened. Okay, let's see. Um, let me make sure I got the right Roman numeral. Because, okay, a woman's, let's see. Wisdom, knowledge, and talent are present, but no love life. This is a lonely time to be met with a measure of detachment. Success, recognition, and wealth will follow. Okay, that's my present situation. Take extra care of your treasures, both friendships and material possessions. It's a good time to ensure that priceless space. Interesting, huh? And I got this! I keep getting that card, too. I swear to God, and there's three decks of 78 cards in there. And I will draw the same... I'll draw, like, duplicates. Like, three of all the same card. Tell me the odds. Tell me the mathematical equation that that is because I haven't bothered to figure it out. I've, I took statistics. I call it statistics. I've taken so many classes. I could probably just go to some other college and graduate with a whole bunch of degrees. Let's see. Oh yeah, the foundation. I want to start a foundation. That's why I have to get to Phoenix, get treatment. And like a friend of mine said, that's just like you, Karen. You, you give it to charity. That's right, that bitch. Amber, she's a gold digging bitch, and we had discussed the age thing anyway. But yeah, he showed me the cover of that People magazine, and two weeks later, there it was. And as my friend was reading it to me, he's a publicist, and I said, Robin Ball, and he goes, Robin Ball. I said, Oh my God, I have her number and everything in my cell phone, and. I've called it, it's really her, but right now I can't find the number. Um, because of and my phone stolen and all that. But anyways, I'm like, I used to live in a tent, a box. I don't care. I'd be so much happier. I'd give it, there's certain, there's not much left. You know, my dad's stuff and Julian's and my dolphins, that, that thing. I don't care. I, I, I get, I'd leave it all. Rent it to somebody for a really good price just to cover the insurance and taxes or something or help, help, help somebody worthy that has been decent or whatever. There's only two people I consider maybe that have been at all decent to me that I'd let maybe rent that have done anything out of the ordinary to help me. But, um, Anyway, yeah, I, I think I'll, I don't care. I just want to be happy. If I'm with the man I love, 
That's all I want. I want to be appreciated, loved, and, and, and not be told I'm some sort of psychopath or something. I'm not bragging, so I don't go with the IQ thing except to say that, I'm sorry, I have allergies and <laughs> I have all kinds of health problems, but I'm not getting any medical care here whatsoever. Lawsuit. Yeah, and that was another thing, all this art and stuff, I got tons of it. This is what Karen does when she gets bored, you know? She takes up hobbies. Like, I was trying to say in a video that I never did get to post about, like, all this art, which I have a bazillion things. Sometimes I would paint on cardboard because I ran out of paper, and back then they didn't have money. But every time I, I experimented, it started becoming things like this, you know, because... I'm a perfectionist, and I wanted it totally symmetrical. They were framed and gold signed, and the, the glass broke. And people, 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 <sighs> people here at least. Um, but I thought someplace besides here, I could probably sell these. And if I was somebody like really important, maybe I bet you they'd be worth a lot of money. But I'm not out for a lot of money. I keep it reasonable where the average Joe could afford to, to, to get it. But I would only take a small salary and the rest would go towards charity. I was already, I was more pissed off that my mother stopped not only my son's insurance policies I had started for him, my donations to the Reeb Foundation and especially the ASPCA Oh my God, I was, I'm, I'm so upset that like the first thing I did when I got money from my dad dying, you know, I mean, I've got ten, tons, this is boredom, I miss doing research and stuff, oh my God, I was so into, you wouldn't believe what, I know, <laughs> oh my gosh, there's some shit going down, buddy, let me tell you, you need to go to Google Plus, but yeah, and get a Google Earth map and start looking around. Look around Egypt, look around the Arizona, New Mexico border and shit like that. See if you don't find um, strange objects, maybe uh, SUVs from certain areas that maybe in Egypt there's like a structure and tunnels and there's things around the world. There's If you look in space, sometimes there's things flying really fast and docking and delivering and Oh yeah, there's all sorts of interesting things going on. As a matter of fact, I know some of them, and when they found out I had just caught on, they wanted to gas me, kill me. They did not like me, and they don't even, some of them aren't here either. They're, but once they learned more about me, the top dog, them <laughs> really, I was accepted because of who I am and what I like and certain things. But um, anyway, yeah, I guess the point was that I just can't believe that. But is it karma? Is it fate? Because I just decided to go back to Facebook. I've been doing the Google Plus thing. I was burnt out on these assholes here, but I decided to go the fame route because I said, the oil of Olay thing coming up, but I got it still finished with the dentist fuck me up. And once I get on meds and all that and start getting cleared up and all that, and, and you know, I have no maintenance in years. I look good. I mean, really, actually, yeah, my skin will clear up because this is just from the, the disease is, is attacking, but that goes away. It clears up. When I get on medication, I start get, looking normal again, completely normal. But as far as aging, I still haven't aged. Two months ago, I looked great. I mean, those pictures that you see on Facebook are current. They were two months ago. I looked great. I was thin. I mean, I'm like down to size two from like a 14. I still got hooters, but <laughs> got have hooters. But... Anyway, for you to say, ah, oops, and kicks my ass off. Yeah, I have to wear sexy panties now. Woo. <laughs> Bye.